Assalamualaikum and happy new year. Okay. Malangnya. Sampai gym tadi tutup pula. Normally dia open ya yeah, during public holidays but uh, I don't know maybe today probably because it's the first of January New Year 2021 I suppose that's why they close it today tak apa so sementara walking back ni uh, I ambil kesempatan to share something ok untuk pengetahuan tuan-tuan perempuan uh, Pertengahan tahun ni saya akan start My webinar session uh, I will have a In fact, three webinars yeah. One is a two hour uh, webinar The secrets Secrets to teaching online uh, It's a charity event yeah, Where I will donate in fact I will not be donating you are the participant will be donating half of the fee which I have made it very very affordable at 49 ringgit 50 cents so how it works is that 25 ringgit of that of that uh, fee uh, you may I'm not forcing yeah you may donate it to any charity of your choice and you just need to pay me 24 ringgit 50 24 ringgit 50 cents for administrative fee I'm not trying to make a lot of profit from this huh? just sharing some of what I know from my experience how to teach online yeah another one another two is I'm collaborating with uh, Arbinger Southeast Asia uh, I've been nominated as their associate consultant in Malaysia and They've invited me to do a free webinar, one hour webinar in English, where I will be helping the uh, principal, Mr. Santel from Abinja. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the title of the webinar is How to Improve Performance in the Disruptive World. Yeah. Uh, the date of the web that webinar will be on the 20th on the 20th of uh, January of this month and next day I'll be doing solo I'll be doing the Bahasa Malaysia version of this webinar uh, entitled Bagaimana Menjana Prestasi Di Dalam Dunia yang penuh mencabar ini ok and in this webinar Arbinja is using the uh, the concept of outward mindset yeah, outward mindset and this outward mindset has changed my life the concept of outward mindset yeah. I remember way back in if I'm not mistaken 2013 14 uh, Mr. Santel did a workshop uh, when I was working in Tanaka National it's, it was a 3 day workshop we call it let's talk together we make a difference and it was an eye opener for me yeah Before that session, before that workshop, I wasn't aware that I was inward mindset. When we talk about inward mindset, is uh, 
basically mementingkan diri sendiri ya yeah? we only care about our issues our problems our needs our goals our expectation our challenges we don't care about others these are what inward mindset people do so i had the aha moment yeah, during that workshop and i realized i've been inward towards my family i've been inwards towards my colleague towards my friend towards my boss towards my staff and we radically changed me yeah. even to this day it was six seven years ago yeah even to this day i still i still go to that concept of being outward mindset outward mindset is a totally opposite of that Cuba boleh tolong saya. Okay, my hair. You know, it's a bad hair day, you know. After walking two kilometers. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's a good exercise. Where were we? Where were we? Yeah. It's a concept of being inward and trying. To change myself to being outward. Okay. I give you an example. You know, before the uh, workshop, I was inward toward one of my colleagues. Yeah. I had a collusion with her. We didn't talk for several months. I can't remember what this was. She was avoiding me. I was avoiding her. Even to the extent of, you know, if I see her going up our office in the same lift, I would rather wait for another lift. If I see her walking towards me, I would rather not have eye contact that's how bad it is and we are in the same unit you know and it was affecting our performance yeah so much so that you know when the appraisal the performance appraisal time comes i got very bad rating Okay, I don't know about her, but during the workshop, you know, I began to realize how inward I was. I don't know about the other party, and in one of the exercises that Mr. Center gave us. I approached that lady and I said sorry for for whatever happened between us. And lo and behold, she also apologized to me. And from then from that time onwards our relation were much better both our performance got better and even after we parted ways you know I went into another department she went into another department with our relationship is still cordial Sometimes she asks me, Sharif, is there anything that I can help you? 
and sometimes I offered help to her yeah and till this day we are still in contact yeah so I have so, uh, I have so many examples to share how this program changed me and how this program changed some people that I have trained yeah and some of example of world class uh, not to say world class yeah uh, some organization that managed to improve the performance just by applying this concept of output mindset Okay. Uh, again, the free one-hour webinar will be held on the 20th for the English version, the 20th of January for the English version, and 21st of January for the Bahasa version. To register, you just need to you just need to click or, or scan the QR code on the brochure that I'm attaching. Okay, of this I will be sharing about my next webinar, which is teaching the secrets of teaching online. Okay, so. Almost reached my house now. See how beautiful our surrounding is. I'm very fortunate eh, to have a very nice neighborhood. See in front of us is an apartment in front of a house apartment. And I don't know how long this uh, jungle is going to last. I can bet you for sure within the next few days, this will be filled with uh, buildings, yeah? commercial buildings. Yeah, there's our house. Okay. Yeah, so... Okay, this is Sharif Shamsuddin from Bushido Kaizen signing off. Till we meet in the next vlog. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.